Hello there, Julian here, and welcome to Julian the Place Hearthstone. Today we are going to continue looking at Festival of Legend stacks. We're looking at the Teak Imp Warlock today, which is a new deck with a lot of new cards that I'm very excited to look forward to or try out myself. I have a feeling this is going to be my go-to Imp deck for, for this expansion, or Warlock deck for the expansion. Uh, but uh, let, let's have a look at it and see, see what's up. So... But before we get into that, first order of business, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my content. It's so much appreciated. I really love all the support I've been, been getting lately. I have multiple videos going under over 100 views, uh, someone even close to 150 views, and there's new subscribers coming in. It's, it's so humbling. So, so thank you, all of you, for, for that. And... Um, if you happen to like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, if you ha like what I'm doing and you want to see more of it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, you can hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss uh, our daily uploads. And uh, if you have any questions uh, on like, how does this deck work? Uh, uh, or how does a certain combination work? Uh, please leave that in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to talk to each and every one of you out there and hear your thoughts and opinions on what's and what's not um, on your mind. Uh, and, and yeah, I generally just want to hear your opinion. But in Enough of that. Let's let's get into the actual deck. So so what's the idea about this fatigue and why is it actually called fatigue? Game? Well, in a lot of the new uh, Festival of Legends card, we have like the Quest Conductor, where you voluntarily take fatigue damage, and depending on how much damage it takes, it increases the effect. So in this case, you take one fatigue banner and summon one free free imp. We have this one. Take one fatigue to give that much damage to all enemies. And this keeps stacking up because fatigue damage stacks. So every time we use one of these cards, the other ones gets more powerful. So uh, it it can stack up crazy. Like like this can create like an entire board of imps for you at some point. Um, And like the good combination about about this is that we have stuff like the Void Retuso, which means we are essentially immune uh, during our turn, which means taking fatigue damage won't affect us. So we can just use all these fatigue attack cards and take no damage. They've been working really hard to try and kill this imp, so uh, let's make them work a little harder. Conductor, only get one imp. We create a bit of board, 
and next turn we can then power this up with Rafam, hopefully. That's the general idea here. And as you can see, Crescendo is now 2 fatigue damage and that much damage to the enemy. Killing that off is exactly one. Or at least we don't want it, but we, we, we don't mind it. Let's be real. We do in the King of Ham. Power up this one. Let's see how they want to deal with this. That's taking out one. draw here Ooh, five mana is perfect here so we do a uh, void guy and now the premier act me Free. Yeah, that one up. And it's evil. Very effective taking down a controlled deck. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Anyways, this is an aggro deck, and it works really fast as you just saw. But we can still rely on like things like nothing, nothing impossible, and Drakan free as well as well as our fatigue card to end the game for us. Um, had this been like the good old like quest warlock days, this would have been insane. Just putting that out there. I know we don't get to see that because all the quests and all that has been removed, but it could have been a really fun to see how that would actually turn out. Um, I'm not going to tempo this out because I don't want it destroyed before we can do anything with it. Reality
That's a bit unfortunate. is upon us! is upon us! Hark in your doom! We're very vulnerable here. Oh right, we know that. Yeah. There was no way getting out of that. <coughs> Wait, what? They had lethal and they didn't use it. Okay. In that case. Hark in your doom. Nah, it's not enough. Do we have a? Oh, we don't have a crescendo in there. We get it. Oh, the kind of fear would not be enough either. No, it's not. Okay, so you just prolonged it. Fair enough.
Ramsey versus Raw. Fear the coming storm. I'll shine no matter what. I uh, don't want two librarians. That library is pretty good. This is like the per perfect totem show <laughs> shaman. Let's see if we can find some way of recover. damage I don't need much like what what we really need is a crescendo to deal with uh, this much aggro. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we have a way out here. this one two three not bad because with the two I gotta get some extra card draw on that What, what do we want?
I really don't want to hear about cultural guide. That should be a pretty chunky board. Plus we can power it up with not one but two wild libraries next turn. And uh, I suspect this is unholy death knight, which means powering up that void walker could potentially be a really good idea. But that's gonna put one big taunt minion in that way they have to deal with. Now, if, even if they manage to somehow kill our entire board and get the entire line of taunt minions, we got Christian there now, which would just annihilate that board. So, I've, I think we're doing pretty well so far. I think we have the other hand here. Okay. Sync 2. The point here is not how many aims we summon, because we're gonna summon none. The point here is the fatigue damage. We're gonna take three. They get a lot of minions. We get the default. So let's do one more game because this is aggro and we play relatively fast, so the game is over quite quickly. So I think a fifth game will be be quite alright. Yeah, 
I'll keep this. And if we get like a like a flame or tour guide on on our first sub deck, that would be amazing. Nothing is impossible. Still a pretty good card. Building up that fatigue damage because we want to use that on the craze con conductor on four. Where you followed. That's a really bonus by use. I'm gonna bet that that's gonna be an explosive trap. So I'm I'm just gonna do this. Call it. The overture is upon us. Job done. Are you okay with that? So we do this. And we power our entire board. I just want to do this. Why do you go? Oh, I kind of want to see them try and deal with this. <laughs> First, I have to kill this board twice. On board, we have Dragon Dragfear in hand, like we had all the match points we wanted. So I'm gonna wrap it there. Uh, so so what are my thoughts on on fatigue game block? I think it's amazing. I think it's so fun to play. Like I'm not a big aggro guy, but this deck really has me hooked. Um, it's fun, it's fast paced, it there's some good variation component in it. You have like just another like late game combo with Dracan Dracantrophia to, to finish up a game. 
Like, I think it's amazing. I, I, I really, really love this deck. I must admit. Um, so, yeah. And I, been, I sincerely believe you can grind and hit Legend with this deck. Like, I knew if I wanted to play a Warlock deck and I wanted to just grind that up, this would be... Well, I haven't tried the Thadius Warlock yet, so there is room that I might change, but as it stands right now, this deck would be my Warlock deck of choice for, for ladder grinding. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna have a look, a little bit of look of a Warrior deck. Uh, I think currently as a standard it would be Menagerie Warrior. Uh, I'm gonna check before recording on like which Warrior deck is actually viable, if there is any. Um, if that's not the case, then we're gonna move on to to Death Knight. But I really want to get a second Warrior deck in uh, for Festival of Legend. Like, Shaman and Warrior has very been cut down to size like the for a while now, and there's not a lot of meta decks out there. We got Totem Shaman at the moment. It's just barely scraping by, but it's really not a, a fun deck to play. Like it's the old kind of like boring aggro for me at least. Like I won't won't judge anyone for playing it because like aggro is a lot of fun for a lot of people, uh, and I can totally respect that. It's just not my thing. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's it for me today. Thank you for reaching this point in the video. If you managed to do that. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Take care of each other out there, and goodbye for now.